The Manhattan and Brooklyn district attorneys are now looking into changing their policy and taking away all the prosecutions for low level marijuana offenses. Now joining the conversation, Mayor Bill de Blasio is directing the NYPD to adjust and change their strategy when it comes to marijuana offenses. Our own John Shumo has all the details. John, what do you got for us? Bill, if you've walked the streets of New York City in recent months, you can tell and frankly smell uh, that change is in the air on this issue. Mayor de Blasio ordered the NYPD to cut back on low-level arrests a few years ago. So this has been building, and most people are now just given summonses uh, and not arrested. Well, today, the mayor uh, was at an event in Washington, D.C., and he announced the NYPD will, quote, overhaul and reform its policies related to marijuana enforcement, and the mayor has asked the NYPD to come up with a new plan in 30 days. Police statistics show 87% of those arrested are black or Hispanic. Uh, at a public hearing yesterday, a city council hearing, the police commissioner was asked flat out, is the NYPD targeting minorities? He dismissed that notion. It seems as if the NYPD is preying on black and brown communities because these are easy, would you agree, easy summonses, no, easy no, arrests that I, no, can I be made agree with, on I wouldn't agree at all low level yeah, I'm not, I'm not marijuana gonna, I'm, offense. I'm not going to agree with that. But your data shows that, sir. It, it, no, it doesn't. It, I think our data shows that we are, we are responsive uh, to, to community complaints as well as 911 and 311 complaints. Uh, there is a disparity, and we're trying to find what that disparity is. Of course, Bill, this whole discussion may be moot, and soon the state Democratic Party is considering a resolution uh, next week at its convention that basically says we now support the legalization of marijuana for recreational use. As you know, Governor Cuomo has been tepid on this issue in the past. Just a couple of months ago, he described marijuana as a gateway drug. Now he's softened his stance. Officially, the line is, because Massachusetts has legalized it and New Jersey might, so if it's a border state, the revenue might go elsewhere. Unofficially, of course, is because Governor Cuomo's primary challenger, Cynthia Nixon, has endorsed this idea and progressives in this state love it. Bill, back to you. All right. Thank you, John. Let's bring back the A-plus panel for tonight. Bill Caruso, Democratic strategist, Jeanette Hoffman, Republican strategist, and Garland Nixon, radio talk show host. Uh, Bill, I'm going to start with you on this. Uh, is this one of those cases, you go back to Rudy Giuliani and uh, broken windows and arresting people for the small crimes, cleaned up the city. There was a time in New York, uh, you know, with May under Mayor Dinkins, you had 2,000 murders a year. Is this a case of a person who has a mental issue taking medication then saying, you know, the medications made me feel pretty good. Maybe I can Stop taking the medication. I don't know about that. Um, and, and by the way, you bring up medication. Some of these people actually may be medicating. New York has a medical program. Right. And so that brings in other issues. I don't think so. I mean, a lot of the data we've looked at here shows that there aren't um, uh, hardened criminals that they're picking up uh, these efforts. So it's not necessarily this broken windows effort. And I do think that this is a tax on resources that, frankly, we could be allocated for more serious crimes. So I, I support this. I think it's smart. Uh, let me ask you, Jeanette, you know, as a mom, uh, you yeah. know, and uh, you've got, you, you think about moms who are expecting, you think about moms with their kids yeah. walking yeah. down the street, you got people smoking pot. What about a contact high? We're so worried about secondhand smoke from cigarettes. Yeah. Uh, what about pot? I have a huge problem with that. There's a reason why it's illegal, and I don't feel like the DA's office should selectively prosecute some crimes and not others. If we're going to decriminalize something, then that's an issue for the legislature, but it's a quality of life issue, Bill. Like You don't want to be walking with your children and having marijuana smoke. It's, it's really a problem, I think. Garland, what do you think? Well, number one, this is my medical marijuana card for the state of Maryland. So you know where I come down on this side of the issue. But go. here's what I have to say. This is about politics. Yeah. This is why it's important to run progressive candidates. Even though Cynthia Nixon didn't win, she's dragged the entire New York uh, a Democratic Party to the left and force them to act on something that they wouldn't have acted on if this out of the box candidate hadn't brought up the issue. You need to address those low level crimes as quality of life crimes to establish an environment of a lawfulness in the city. They do, but there's not a correlation. Well, and not only, I mean, think of it this way, though, if you look at what happened in New York under Rudy Giuliani, not only did he clean the city up and made it profitable and clean and look at Times Square, but the opposite is happening with Mayor Ross Baraka in Newark. You've got quality of life arrests, so they're doing the exact opposite uh, and other than the South Ward crime is coming down. But they so never believed we'll in, they never believed in the broken windows theory because if they believed in the broken windows theory they would have applied it to the police department. You want families. And they never applied that to the police department. The results were in the crime stats but we'll see.